Hi, uh, in this video I'd like to introduce you to a shopping cart system for Joomla called eShop which is available from joomdonation.com. eShop is a really great system and I uh, just want to show you some of its main features. So it works both for Joomla 2.5 and Joomla 3. Now I'm showing you this on Joomla 2.5 but it will work the same on a newer version. So once you have logged in, go to components and go to eShop. And you'll see then a, a dashboard with some stats about the recent sales and volume of sales and the status of orders, whether they're pending or completed or cancelled. And you can see which products are the most popular and see the recent reviews of products. Now, go into the catalogue and uh, under categories you can see which categories exist on the website. And you can easily create a new category here if you like. And they can be subcategories and so on. Uh, the ones here with the red dots are unpublished. That means they're not visible on the website right now. But I can simply click on one of these to make them published. And then this category of products will become visible on the website. Now once you're happy with the categories that you've got on the website, go into the product section. And here you can create products. Uh, and um, as you can see at the moment, most of these are unpublished. Now, eShop provides a flexible way of adding extra information about each product. So if we go back and have a look at this product here, you'll see that there are several tabs. There's a little video preview. There's uh, all kinds of information about, about the product. There isn't even a gallery in here and a, a review area. So let's have a look at how it's set up. Uh, so here's the, uh, the name or the title of the product. The alias is automatically filled in and the page title uh, can be the same as the name of the product or it could be a bit more uh, extensive if you want more information about um, about the product, in particular for uh, Google search purposes, you could put a, a longer title. Short description is shown on the category pages. So on the category page, there's a list of, of all the products with, uh, within the category. And uh, here you can have a short description of this particular product. In the main description field, there's more, more space for text. And uh, in this case, I've included a video preview. Now, one of the features that I really like about eShop is that you can include a number of tabs. So if we go back here, you can see these tabs, description, features, and so on. So here's our features tab and the text we have added. Then we've added a setup guide tab uh, with some text and we've added a gallery tab with these pictures. And as you can see, you can actually add five different tabs into the system. Now under data, the system forces you to enter an SKU, which is uh, the basic um, identifying number or code for that product. You can choose a manufacturer. Uh, you can create manufacturers in the system if you need to. And uh, a product image. The product image, as you can see, you have this little feature where people can zoom in and view. Choose the main category and you can add additional categories for the product and the price of the product um, and the dimensions. The quantity automatically decreases based on the number of orders. So um, I've set it not to count the, the, the stock levels and uh, I just set it to zero to start off with. Now it's minus 10. That doesn't matter, but it shows me that there's been 10 orders of this product so far. And that's why I set stock checkout to no. Otherwise, um, if I set this to yes, then the stock quantity has to be a positive number. Otherwise, the product cannot be ordered. Now, under attributes, the system lets you create uh, a variety of different attributes with prices added to it. So we've created different prices for different sizes of the, the product. You can also uh, add 
add options that um, also include different prices for different versions of, of the product as you can see here. Then there is the option of adding a discount. Now make sure the price here is the, the, the price that you want the product to, the new price you want the product to cost. So not a $10 discount but um, but the, the new new total price of the product. Under images you can add several pictures and once you're done save and close. So there are a number of other options here and I, I won't go through them all now but uh, you can create the attributes that will show up um, for the box like different box sizes now under plugins there are a number of uh, payment plugins already in the system and you can purchase additional ones from gym donation there are a number of shipping plugins available uh, by default in the system and additional ones can be purchased under sales you can see the the orders that have come through you can view the invoices, you can check out the customers that have, have registered. You can create uh, coupons and vouchers. And uh, the, the system has got some standard configuration options that you can, you can add about the details of the, the shop, about the location of it about uh, how many items to show on each page, whether to enable reviews. So most of the, the questions here are quite self-explanatory, but I think it is a nice and very flexible system. It does even allow a donation feature on the checkout. You can choose the sizes of pictures to be displayed at different points on the website. You can also edit the um, the layout for payment addresses and, and so on. And uh, you can enable an invoice. So the layout here would affect how the invoice is created. So enable or disable invoices, allow different forms of product sorting, and whether or not to allow social media for the system. And it also has some nice reports where you can see the number of orders that have come through recently and how many have been viewed and so on. So um, as you can see here we've got options where people can select different, op different attributes and they'll have different prices. And once the person adds it to the cart, they're then taken to the checkout. And I like how the checkout is designed. You can uh, register or log in. Once you're logged in, you have to choose billing address, delivery details, delivery method. I've got several available here. And then the payment method. So uh, I think it is a really nice system and I, I highly recommend it and the support is outstanding. So this was the eShop from Joom Donation.